Hello friends, welcome to Expert Guidance and I welcome you to another topic of your GCSE Maths which is the Standard Form. Now this is a very important topic and it's quite simple as well but you need to take care of few rules and that's what we'll be taking over in this topic. So in this video we'll look over what is a Standard Form how do you express a number in a standard form? How do you express a standard form in normal numbers? If you're given different standard forms, how do you order them? How do you add, subtract, multiply and divide the standard forms and some mixed problems? So let's begin. Now what exactly is a standard form? A standard form is something that you see in the form of a times 10 to the power n and a could be any number greater than 1 1 or greater than 1 and less than 10. Okay, so you have some big numbers like 2, 3, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, or 0. 0. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 3. So such bigs and small numbers, if you write as a proper number, it becomes too cumbersome to write. So what we do, we write them in a standard form. So standard form is that form, it's a to the power 10 to the power n, where n could be any whole number, and a is 1 or greater than 1 but less than 10. So 352 times 10 to the power 2 is not in a standard form because this A term is greater than 10. 35.2 is still not in standard form. But if you write it as 3.52 times 10 to the power 4, then 3.52 is less than 10. So this is what is in a standard form. Okay. Now, the question is, how do you convert a number to a standard form? Now, just look here at this number. When you have a number like this, which is 3569, this is a proper number without any decimal, which means that this number holds a decimal at the end. Now, if you need to write it into a standard form, then where should the decimal come? The decimal should come after 3 so that the number turns out to be less than 10. Now, how many places will you move this decimal? So here, the decimal is here. So you'll move it to 1, 2, three places. So if the decimal is moved towards the left, then the power of 10 goes positive to the number of places you have moved the decimal. So you have moved the decimal three places to the left. So this number is 3.569 times 10 to the power 3. Okay, so we will write this number as 3.569 times 10 to the power 3. So I hope this is clear to you. Now let's take another example. Here the decimal is already there and you don't have to move it to the left, you have to move it to the right. So whenever you move a decimal to the right, then it means that the power will go in negative. So the decimal is here. To make that into a standard form, the decimal has to come after 5 so that it results in a number less than 10. So we'll move it to 1, 2, 3, 4. So it becomes 5.6 times 10 to the power minus 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so I hope this is clear to you. Now, let's do the questions. Again, I'll emphasize the rule. If the decimal is moved towards the left, then the power of 10 is raised to the positive power to the number of places you move the decimal places. And if the decimal is moved to the right, then the power of 10 is raised to the negative power to the number of places the decimal is moved. So this is 35. The decimal is here in the end. We'll move it one place to the left. So it is 3.5 times 10 to the power 1. Now this number, again, the decimal is at the end. We'll move it to 1, 2, 3 places to put that into a standard form. So it is 2.956 times 10 to the power 3. Okay, now let's see here. Here the number, the decimal is here. So we'll move it to 1, 2, 3, so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 places. So it will be 7 times 10 to the power 8. Now here, to make it to a standard form, my decimal should go here, 6.95. So how many places to the right we are moving? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the answer would be 6.95 times 10 to the power minus 5. 
Okay, so I hope this is clear to you. How do you convert any number to standard form? Now let's do the opposite. How to convert the standard form to normal numbers? Now, here you look at the power of 10. If the power of 10 is positive, then you move the decimal to the right to the number of places as the power of 10. And if the power of 10 is negative, then you move the decimal to the left to the number of places as the power of 10. So here it is 3.5 times 10 power 1. The power of 10 is 1. So it means you will move the decimal place 1 to the right. So the number will become 35. This is 2.9 times 10 to the power 6. The power of 6 is 10 is 6. So we'll move it 6 places to the right. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So there you will add the zeros when there's no number. So you will get 2, 29, and 5 zeros. Now this is 5.6 times 10 to the power minus 4. Here, it will move four places to the left. So one, two, three, four, two, three, four. So you will get 0 0.0056. Okay, so I hope this is clear to you how to convert the standard form to normal numbers. Now, there could be a question where they'll ask you to order the standard form question. Now, the rule to do that is write the standard form as now normal numbers and then compare. So it is 49 times 10 power 0, which is 49, 4.9 times 10 power 2. So here you will make move the decimal two places to the right. So you will get 490. It is 0 0.049 times 10 power 5. Positive power means move the decimal to the right by five places. So 1, 2, 3. So that becomes 4,900. And 490 times 10 power minus 2, it means you have to move the decimal two places to the left, so you get 4.9. Now you can compare. The bigger number is 4,900, 49, 49, and 4.9. Now 4,900 is here, which is 0 0.049 times 10 power 5. 490 is 4.9 times 10 power 2. 490 is 49 times, uh, then it is uh, 49, which is 49 times 10 power 0. And then it is... 490, which, uh, oh, sorry, the last number is 4.9, which is 490 times 10 power minus 2. Okay, so I hope this ordering of standard form is clear to you. Now, the next question. Round 65768, correct to three significant figures. It's a significant figure question. So, 768 is near to 65800, so that would be the answer. Next is convert 75800 in the standard form. So here the decimal is to the left. Uh, here in the end, we'll move it how many places to the left? One, two, three, four, five places. So the answer would be 7.58 times 10 to the power 5. Okay, so I hope this is clear to you. Now let's do how to add and subtract the standard form. The rule for this is there are two ways. Either you write them as normal numbers. I have already explained to you how to write them as normal numbers and then you add it. Okay. Or after adding, you can put them into the standard form. Or you make sure you move the decimal places so that the power of 10 on both the numbers becomes same. And then you just subtract the numbers. So for example, if you have 5.27 times 10 power minus 3, Take away 8.2 times 10 power minus 4. Here the power is minus 3 and minus 4. Now you know if you move the decimal one place to the left, the power goes up by 1. So if this is 8.2 times 10 power minus 4, I move its decimal place here, it will become 0 0.82 times 10 power minus 3. Now both of my these numbers have the same power so 10 to the power minus 3 i can take common and i'll be left with 5.27 take away 0 0.82 which will give me the answer 4.45 times 10 to the power minus 3. in the same way we can do this adding question so you have 4.76 times 10 to the power 4 at 3.2 times 10 to the power 3. now what i can do is i can move the decimal place of this number to the right so that it becomes to the power of 3. So it becomes 47.6 times 10 to the power 3 and 3.2 times 10 to the power 3. 10 to the power 3 is common. I can add 47.6 plus 3.2 and that gives me 50.8 times 10 to the power 3, which is not in the standard form. So I'll move the decimal one place to the left and that will give me 5.08 times 10 to the power 4. Okay, so the rule is make the power of tens the same. Take that power common. 
add or subtract the whole numbers and then if, if necessary put them back into the standard form okay so i hope adding and subtracting is clear to you multiplying is simple you can just multiply the whole numbers and for the power of 10 you can follow the indices rule where the bases are same the powers are different so if they are getting multiplied you can add them if they are getting divided you can take away them so 4 times 10 power 6 times 2 times 10 power 8 so 4 times 2 is 8 10 to the power 6 into 10 to the power 3 is 10 to the power 9 similarly you have 2 times 10 to the power 6 divided by 4 times 10 to the power 3 now in this question 2 divided by 4 is 0 0.5 and 10 to the power 6 times 10 to the power 3 divided by so you'll take away the two powers becomes 10 to the power 3 and then you can put that into a standard form by writing 5 times 10 to the power 2 okay so i hope this is clear to you now let's take a mixed problem so the problem that we have here is now let us see some word problems in the standard form. So here the question given to you is that the weight of one box is five times 10 power five, calculate the weight of 120 such boxes. So we know that if one box is five times 10 power five, then 120 such boxes will be multiplied by 120. We can multiply 120 times five, give 600 times 10 power five. Now we need to put that into a standard form, move the decimal two places to the left, so the answer would be 6 times 10 power 7. Okay, let's look at another question. The area of sphere A is 4.8 times 10 power 6 and B is 1.2 times 10 power 3. How many times larger is A than B? So in this case, we will divide the two numbers. Now, for the whole numbers, we will divide as numbers so 48 divided by 12 is 4 the decimal gets cancelled and 10 to the power 6 over 10 to the power 3 is 6 minus 3 which is 3 so sphere a is 4 times 10 to the power 3 that is 4000 times larger than the sphere b okay so i hope this concept of standard form is crystal clear to you about the topic is still not complete until and unless you try exam questions on this topic the link of that is mentioned in the description box below and as always do check your specification to make sure that everything on this topic that is mentioned you have covered that all i hope you like this video if you like it then do subscribe to my channel and do not forget to like comment and share this video and while starting, if you have any doubts, then you can come and join my free Facebook group, which says Get A Stars in GCSEs and A Levels and in Science and Maths by Himahima. Here you can post all your queries and get instant replies. Or you can go to my website where there's a 24-7 chat support for all your queries. So I'll see you next in my next video. Till then, happy revising.